Hey everybody, this is Kodak here reporting again from New York Toy Fair 2017, the largest international toy fair on the planet. I'm here with my friends Batman and Lloyd. I don't know if they're going to talk too much about the movies they're starring in, the Batman movie and Ninjago movie respectively. But today we're going to be taking a look at a lot of good stuff. I'm going to be in the Mattel booth. I'm going to be going to Spin Master, fingers crossed. I'm also going to be going to do Playmobil. We're going to be doing all sorts of great things today, so let's take a look. I'll start it up for you now. So, sound is proportional to the throttle. So is the exhaust. Car races up two inches off the back end. The real Batmobile actually can change its height by two feet. So there's the height change. The guns, the steering, and the rocket launcher are all tied in together. So if I turn left and right, they track. But the Gatling guns are alive. Put that down. Go inside the Batmobile. Batman sitting inside, that's a real six inch action figure. He does come with the car. He will come out of the car so you can pose him. He also steers the car, so you might want to get in and get that. Cool. Dash is completely interactive. The light pattern changes the faster you go. You hit the brakes, everything will light up. Underneath the roll cage is a Wi-Fi camera because the final product won't be controlled by this controller. It'll be controlled by your phone via an app. So the cool thing we can do about that is that we can track the back of the guns, the back of the rocket launcher, and the massive cannon, and I can shoot augmented bullets off the end of the cannons, and they're tracked left and right. So those muzzle flashes will follow the actual Gatling guns. The viewer only sees the back of the rocket launcher so we can launch rockets off into the distance. And the massive cannon on the side will tilt back, launch a huge artillery shell off in the distance. And you can all see this from your phone. And a big explosion down the hallway, wherever you're going to shoot it. So, alive on the outside, alive on the inside with Batman steering it, and a full user experience while you use your phone. Also, that gives you that over-the-shoulder movie moment like you'd have a GoPro strapped inside the actual Batmobile as it's driving through wherever it is, shooting parademons left and right. And that is the Justice League Batmobile. All right, so I'm here with Gavin. He's going to teach us some Imaginext. But before we begin, I just have one question for you. Why is Imaginext always so awesome? I don't know how, but every year they just come out with the most amazing thing. Like, they're able to make everything just so much fun. So, uh... Tell me what we got going on. Well, what we have here is, well, you know, I agree with you, first of all. It is incredibly awesome. Yeah, I can always recommend it. Yeah, um, and what we got is a very robust line full of not just, like, really amazing segments, but just, I mean, we have designers that really love what they're doing, and they just really love the idea of taking the, the start-off point uh, of, of these amazing, uh, you know, great features and then just being able to build off the story there and then just leaving it up to the kids, you know. Yeah, and... and that definitely reflects in, in the work I'm seeing here. So what have we got new for 2017? Well, I'm glad you asked. We got some great new stuff for DC Super Friends, which is obviously always really popular with us. We have a great new Treasure Hunter non-licensed segment. And of course, the Power Rangers movie, you know, everybody's really excited about that. You know, it's coming out in the spring. So we've also got some great Power Ranger toys as well. Yeah, like, like I'm seeing this Zardon here. I mean, you, you might have seen like some press images of this thing, but those press images do not do this thing justice. It is, uh, it is incredible. So we're going to take a better look at that, and uh, thank you very much. So uh, this is our, uh, our big bat bot for the year. So what have we got? 
So we have the BatBot Extreme standing here, and we call him Extreme for obvious reasons. He stands two feet tall, which makes him nearly as tall as all the kids that were going to be playing with him. And as I'm sure you're aware at ImagineX, it all happens with the turn of these power pads, and that actually reveals all the features. So why don't I just run you through it here? But stand back, the awesomeness is incredible. So you turn this power pad right here, opens up the chest, it activates lights and sounds. As you can see Batman here, he can now go up into the cockpit so he's ready to fight crime. Fire projectiles from the missile launchers right here, or you can go down to the foot, turn this power pad, and it'll launch the bat cycle into action. But the biggest transformation happens when you turn this one right here, and you might want to stand back a little here. Whoa. Look at that. Bat wings spring out, super punching fists spring into action. You turn around so I can show it to your camera. You pull the triggers on the back, you get a little rock 'em sock 'em action going. You take these bat disc projectiles, put those into the fists. Those will sling out when you when you punch, and then when you hit the button on the back, voice changing microphone. Joker, better look out. My God, if I got this as a kid, I would probably pass out from joy. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, do we have an SRP on this? Yep, it's about one oh nine ninety nine, um, and look for it uh, twenty seventeen fall twenty seventeen. That is awesome. Thank you very much. So I am here with Kelly looking at the uh, new Mega Constructs Pokemon line. I'll admit, when I heard that Mega first picked up Pokemon, I was a bit hesitant, but looking at it now, I think I'm a believer. So what can you tell us about these? Yeah. Um, so with our with our Pokemon line, we uh, it's brand new for us. It's coming out in stores in fall of 20, 2017. We have uh, five different kind of items that you can collect, or five different lines, I would say, within this. Uh, we have our individual collector Pokemon here, where you actually get a Pokeball with it. You can see Eevee is sitting inside of the Pokeball. It opens up. The packaging um, showcases the Pokemon that you would be getting, so you can specifically collect whoever you want to be collecting. Um, we have six Pokemon right now within this first line, pulling from Generation 1. Everything from Pikachu to Magikarp, we even have Abra. And then we uh, come over to our battle uh, assortments, where you can get two different battle scenarios, you get the universe build, and we start out with our original, uh, original Pokemon that you start the game with, you know, Charmander, Squirtle. And then we evolve them over into our evolution assortments, so you get the first evolution of those original three. And then we come up to our key items. You have Charizard and Gyarados, and uh, Gyarados here has 350 pieces. There's each of these ball joints in here is actually articulated, so you can pose him um, to whatever you, you know. You can play with him, so whatever you want him to look like, you can actually pose him. Um, so a lot of really cool things. We'll keep expanding this line, new waves of these uh, original six. That's cool. So I mean, I see that you have uh, you have the Magikarp here, so you can fill out the line with Gyarados. Are they going to do like the other two starters? Are they going to do like the uh, the Abra and Kadabra and the 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 Machop and the Machoke lines and the the the, the Zubat and stuff like that? The, yeah. that? That'll have the evolutions too. All right, that looks really cool. I really hope this goes places. I'd love to see like some of the newer Pokemon here. Like you could grab. Uh, you don't even have to stay at Generation One. I mean, grab some of the iconic ones like Lucario or something like that. Right, make right. make sets of those. I think this will do really well. This Gyarados really impresses me. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And here we are at the Hot Wheels booth, one thing that I have always identified as one of the gold standards of the toy business. So what have we got going on with Hot Wheels in 2017? Well, I appreciate that gold standard. That's fantastic. What we got in 2017 is what's called Roto Revolution. You guys probably remember Criss Cross Crash. Well, we brought it to another level now. It's all about competition. It's about timing. And it's about crashing in the zone here. So what's you say happen? we want a revolution. And you're playing with me, man. You're playing with me. Oh, I'm going to turn this bad boy on. You have to launch your car. You have to time it just right because oh, the tunnel no. shows up. Once you're in, it's going to be me against you. And we'll see who, <laughs> well, basically we'll see who makes it through Thunderdome. Here we go. I'm firing it up. Oh, come on. Can't we get beyond Thunderdome? Oh, 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 there we go. I'm in, my friend. You just got to time it just right. Once you're in. Oh, see. That's okay, John. I am a professional. Just pull that back. There you go. Of course, you are holding a mic as well. So. I'm handicapped. 
I'm going in twice. I'm going in again. Yep. All right, there we go. Push me back out. Yep. Man, I'm just bombing this. That's what, it's about precision. Oh, there we go. Oh, you pushed me out right away. Oh. But you get the idea. This oh. is Wake. I'm just going to love one in for it. So you get the feeling of the speed. And attack. You did no, oh, dude. Took Nailed it. Immediately. All right. So you get the idea. Obviously, you got the crashing, smashing. <laughs> you got the crashing, smashing. You got the competition. And you got just a whole lot of fun with Roto Revolution 2017. Hot Wheels. Leading the way. Woo. Nice. Do they still have that slogan? Why not? <laughs> Works Why for not? me. <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure, John. Take care. And so here we are with Monster High. Back in the day, there was a phrase that girls get princesses and boys get everything else. But of course, Mattel decided to change a lot of that by saying, okay, we'll give you monsters and superheroes too. So what have we got going on with Monster High in 2017? Uh, so something that we're doing in 2017 uh, that we're really excited about is introducing our monster family segment. Uh, we learned that girls wanted to know more about their favorite characters through their families, through their lifestyle. They wanted to know their everyday lives. So we've given them that. Uh, we've introduced siblings. We've introduced sibling packs. And we're introducing Dracula for the first time ever in product line as well. Very exciting. That is very scary. <laughs> yes, we're very excited about that. Um, the male dolls always do really well for us. So we're excited that not only is he a parent for the first time, he's Dracula himself very cool as long as we could as long as there's gonna be a, a cape or something like that oh, yeah, of course. or an it's apron that says bite the cook exactly exactly and, and I don't think I've seen these little ones no, before brand new so uh, these are our siblings which are adorable so down here you have a uh, Claudine youngest sister Paula all puns intended we have Fangelica who is Dracula's youngest sister yep and then of course we have uh, Kelpie who is the younger sister of Laguna Blue and Ebby very cute Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have a good one. So these are garden ghouls. It looks like we have uh, some big fairies. We got I am Grootina. And here we are at the DC Superhero Girls line. This came out last year, and it was another one that, like Monster High, was a lot of people are saying girls get princesses and boys get everything else. So Mattel, along with Monster High, released this last year and said, okay, we'll also give you some monsters and superheroes. So here we go. We got a lot of the ones that came out last year. We got uh, Supergirl, Batgirl, Wonder Woman, Bumblebee, who a lot of people don't seem to know about. Um, and of course, we got some new ones this year. We have Starfire. We have what looks like ice, but is actually frost. So I don't know if we're going to get fire and ice, but uh, always, some, always some good stuff here. We got uh, Supergirl, who uh, is a bad girl and uses her x-ray vision to peek on other people's lockers. We got... Uh, we got some uh, some other regalia over here. We got uh, a new uh, we got a crew wagon. We got a gigantic uh, Hall of Justice over here, or I guess it's like a superhero high school or something like that. So we're going to be taking a better look at some of these. So this is our transforming bus. Superheroes don't travel in any normal bus. Here you'll see you can take out all of the seats to expand the play area. They also have a really cool super snack nook over here with a mini fridge and countertop. Then at the top you have a lookout tower so they can see if any villains are on their way. And finally, if they decide to go chase any of those villains, they can hop in the front seat with the buddy and off they go. Your driver's license is suspended, Wonder Woman. Okay, so we are here looking at Enchantimals. It's a new line that they're coming out with this season. So uh, I think you could tell us all about it. Sure. So Enchantimals is uh, all about celebrating that special bond that a girl has with her animal bestie. And it's set in this whimsical, fantastical world. So these girls are half human and half animal, and they share special attributes and abilities with their besties. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, when do you think we can expect to uh, see these on the market? They will be out this fall. There'll be a 60-minute TV special as well as YouTube on content. Uh, it says content on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Let's get a better look at these. <laughs> 